Uh, good morning, this minutes to call. It's 6.05 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in Northern California. Just had the most amazing encounter with God. I was asleep out here in the uh, recliner again. I was listening to a song sent to me by a friend. And I woke up at exactly 4.40 a.m. This music to playing at exactly 3 hours and 33 minutes into this audio Bible. It's almost four hours long. And it began to speak to me from Sister Rose. So I began to read it. In book 48. I actually began reading that quote before. And book 48. And we'll go through this later. The Lord just told me this now. On April 9th, 2013. To begin dictating this as soon as possible. And then, so I listened to the story about the Bible. I was asleep. I'm actually sitting in the dark. It's been up since 4.40 a.m. And then the oddest thing happened. I began to take some dictation and I put the song back on. And Ezekiel began playing again. Which is very strange. So, I'll just dictate it and, and pray over it. Okay, so I woke up at 4.40 a.m. Ezekiel. And I remember it was, I got headphones on right now. And everybody in the house was asleep. I mean, the wind was blowing like you wouldn't believe. And the eastern sky is beginning to light up. From the beginning of the sunrise right now, as I speak, I got up and looked at it. You have to see this wind blowing in, shaking everything. And the sun rising like a whirlwind in the east, trying to stand for it. And, and they were talking about the Sabbath and the Passover, the three hour and 33 minute mark. And then I put, No woe shall come upon them. This is a follow up to those, the, the three woes, seven trumpets, that video, that's what God told me. And they're building the temple in chapter 43. And the glory of the Lord filled the house. And God said, Put away Holden. And all this is in the word that I wrote to you. Put away Holden. Ezekiel 44, about 448 a.m. And this, this peace that just overcame me that I can't explain. At first, I felt like condemned and judged. I actually got up and walked around the house. I knew I was awake for a reason. Normally I would go right back to sleep and just go and let you know, let you know. And God said, You have seen the vision of what was or what is or what is to come. And the vision that I saw was a whirlwind of destruction. It was blowing cars out of its ways, and it was blowing through city streets like a tornado. And there was people in it, but these people were untouched and unharmed. It was hard to explain. You could tell that this whirlwind was going to cause destruction, that people were being caught up 
health and safety in the world. And it's hard to explain. Something that would come down and bring destruction is also having people caught up to glory in the same world with judgment and wrath for some, eternal protection and safety for the other at this point in time. So, God said, what in this whirlwind, He said, you've seen the vision of what was and what is to come. And he said, and then a glory cloud fell over me. And at 333 to 337, going through this court. And as I was reading this in Ezekiel, and I'll put links and stuff, it's going to take me a while to put this together. This is just dictation for right now. It's 6 um, I asked the Lord, because I was seeing so many different things. I was meditating on the word of this as he feels playing in my headphones and he's literally walking this minister, this prophet, through the courts. There's three gates, like on the north, three gates on the south, and there's, you know, there's, it's hard to explain. I was literally felt like I was being led through this court and showing these things and talking about sin offerings and peace offerings and burnt offerings and the Passover and the seven days and, and this and that and, and I'm thinking you know the Lord is showing me all this and you know what they used to have to do matter of fact right here it says the feast of new moon and the Sabbath and sin offerings and the feast of seven days and we're going to cry out to the Lord because I, I didn't understand, and I said, teach me a word, you know, because I wanted to understand. This is me speaking to, to Jesus. And he said, you cannot do this. All these things I was being shown in this physical court, he did for us. God said, my son did. And then it began to talk about I'll attach this, this, this area in uh, should I take the picture of that? That's where it keeps it. And, and uh, anybody within the inside, feel free to join in. I'll take the word show you right here. And this is the big C. And so he was showing me these borders, and I remember that all the twelve tribes were given an inheritance. I remember that part. This peace from flowing came upon me, and I felt like God said he was restoring everything that had been divided. And I put to the twelve tribes inheritance, just the word I heard. Inheritance. It was like my dream of heaven. That's right, it began to talk about this river that ran down. You know, it, it went like so many cubits this way and so many cubits this way. And he's walking in his ankles. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I'm doing all this from memory. And then he was walking, you know, waist deep. And then it became up over to his head to where it was impassable. It said, and, uh, and it showed this river. Yeah, it was a holy bunch all over you. And there was trees on both sides of the river in Ezekiel 48. I'm doing all of this in memory. And I have a, a, a dream on here when I was in heaven and I saw that river with the trees. I put a link to it. The wind was blowing and I felt condemned and, and I heard the word judgment. There was nowhere to land. And God said, you know, tell the preppers, you can't prepare for what's coming. This is the preparation you need to do. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. I need to um, 
look up that scripture. I saw people caught up. I was doing all that for the day. I saw people caught up in a whirlwind. And I heard this. Look, destruction is at the door. He will do it again. Just like before. And I'm writing this up for 40 in the morning. And then I felt peace flow to me like a river. Then joy. I felt peace and joy after judgment was on the angel. And God said, you can't do it unless I do. And then I would have went back to sleep. Honestly. And God said, write down the vision. It shall be for an appointed time. And then I saw the demon. This ain't gonna make any sense. So I pray over John 3 8 and then John 20. And then all these earthquakes demons. So let me show you what I mean by I saw the demon. I went to the earthquake now. But you'll see the task. And they were just hitting really hard. hard. There was 6.3, and 5.4s, and then a 3.7. This is Turkey and Southern Iran. All of these. I almost felt like instead of earthquakes, this was like World War III starting explosion. And so I'm going to show you what I mean by sovereignty. So I want to go check my comments, and there was one from GoTrax who I, I never hear. I don't see him that often ever comment on my page. He was watching one of my videos. And I'll attach that uh, title of the video to the rapture group. See what I see. Holy Ghost and Condemned Spirits. And then there was another sister. Oh, and I got another game discovered. This is all, all of this is coming in my favor. She had commented on my page on a comment I made a while back. And look at the title of her video. In March 19th. It says rapture and judgment coming. Look at that clock. When did I make this comment four days ago? That is the elephant forty four minutes. Telling you there's something to this. Forty four minutes ago she made this comment. And now yet yeah, another one is coming in. But I'll put two of them. And then I'll see if it's good. The film we read out of the way. It's talking about numbers of 337. You know what Ezekiel seemed to all be about towards the end? Numbers. I'll add to it after time. Clearly, what I'm saying is I'm surrounded by brothers and sisters in Christ. We are about ready to be caught up in the rapture. It's judgment time. And I believe we escape the wrath. That's what I feel in my spirit right now. 
feel that there's wrath and judgment coming upon the world. But those walking in obedience to the relationship with Christ Jesus our Lord are caught up in that whirlwind and taken to the secret safe place. And these people you're seeing represent the body. I don't know how some people on YouTube are tapping into familiar spirits. Those are just waking every day to make a video instead of waiting for the Holy Spirit to come and give them the Holy Spirit. The prophetic utterance is always within the ghost function. Function is God's permission to speak on his behalf. If there is no function, then the prophet is acting by assumptive faith. Decoupled from the Holy Spirit prompting, this is unsafe. I think this is happening a lot on YouTube. This is a training class and went through. You just said half a basic thing about that. It's right here. Let's close this out and take it to prayer and then everybody will see some part of this. Uh, John 3 8 says, The wind bloweth where it listed. And now here is the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. I'm going to have to study that. And I'm going to have to study John. Very awesome. Never heard of it before. The Bible said that's that's my it wasn't a dream at all. It was really woke up to a vision. I have a feeling that we're gonna see a lot of things today and hear a lot of things. I think God saved people here and saved. Honestly, I know He's doing that.